What are blocks? Blocks are the basic programming units of PLSQL programming language. There are two types of blocks in PLSQL. The first one is anonymous, that is they have no name, and hence can't be reused later. On the other hand, named PLSQL blocks are the one that have names, and are used when creating subroutines, such as procedures, functions and packages. These subroutines can be stored in the database, and referenced by their name later. Both of these blocks have three sections. They are declaration, execution and exception handling. Out of these three sections, only execution section is mandatory, the other two are optional. This is the format of anonymous block. The named PLSQL block will be discussed later, when we will learn functions, packages and other subroutines. Let's understand all the sections one by one. First, declaration section. This is an optional section. This section contains the definition of PL, SQL identifiers such as variables, constants, cursors, etc. This section starts with the keyword declare. Next, execution section. This is the only mandatory section. This section contains all the executable statements like arithmetic operations, print statements, conditional statements, loops, etc. This section is enclosed within begin and end keywords. Last one is the exception handling section. This section is also optional. This section contains statements that are executed when a runtime error occurs. All the exception handling code are written here. This section is written within the executions section. This section starts with the keyword exceptions. Hope you got the basic idea about the different types of blocks in PLSQL.